everyone, this is Josh Carney. I'm an audio and recording engineer, a musician, composer, and producer. In this course, I'll cover the Step Effects plugin in Logic Pro 10. To follow along with this course, make sure that you have Logic 10.4 or higher installed to use Step Effects because it was a new feature added in version 10.4. Step Effects is a step modulator. It functions and sounds a lot like a step sequencer. However, it's different in that it doesn't affect or create MIDI data. It's purely an audio based effect. So you can place it on any audio track, software instrument track, or aux track on its audio effects insert. So let me first just give you an example of what Step Effects can do. I just have a simple musical idea with a drum loop, a bass patch from Alchemy, and a string patch from Alchemy. What I'm going to do first is bypass step effects on both of these synth patches and we'll listen to this and you'll see that it's something that's pretty basic and pretty boring. So it's pretty much all just long notes. Now if I enable step effects on both of these, I end up with something that's a bit more interesting and has a really cool rhythmic groove to it. You can also use step effects on sounds that otherwise wouldn't be very musical at all. For instance, I have the ES2 loaded up here with just white noise as an oscillator. By itself, it's just noise and isn't musical at all. However, with step effects enabled, it sounds like a cool rhythmic shaker or hi-hat groove. And with the other instruments added in, it helps to support the overall groove of the song. Step Effects is comprised of five different effects modules, an XY pad modulator, the step modulator, which creates the driving motion in Step Effects by modulating the parameters in the various effects modules, a signal chain at the bottom where you can reorder the signal flow of the various modules, and finally a master section where you can control the input and output gain and a mix knob to blend between the dry and wet signal. You can choose a different preset from the menu at the top of the plugin. Let's choose a different preset for the bass. Join me in the next several tutorials where I'll go deep into the Step Effects plugin and each of its modules. Along the way, you'll also gain a better understanding of synthesis fundamentals and components, modulation and secondary modulation, and I'll show you some practical examples of Step Effects in song arrangement and electronic music production.